friends welcome back to the cabin I've actually got a small project this morning it's actually raining uh, lightly um, but I put a new handle on my chisel here and this is actually made out of hickory uh, good compliments of my good friend Nathan at out of the woods if you haven't checked out his channel be sure and do so because I guarantee you'll like it um, anyway so it hasn't been treated yet so I'm going to use this Australian timber frame oil that I've been using on everything else up here at the homestead and because it's got tongue oil and linseed oil both in there. So I'm going to go ahead and treat this handle here. Then I also repaired this one by cutting the top off, lowering the ring on this one as well. And uh, so I'm going to go ahead and cut this one at the same time. So we'll shake this up. Get it open and treat the hand. All right, we got to make sure and put our gloves on before we actually open this can. I've got three rags here, and I picked the dirtiest one out of all three to do the staining with. Let's see, screwdriver. I'll tell you what, this is really good stuff. I've used it and used it and used it. They they don't endorse the channel either, so all the plugs they've been getting that I talk about how good this stuff is. It really is. I don't get anything to say that. Okay, I got that one done, and I went ahead and I brought all the tools that I used quite a bit, laid them right here. I'm going to go ahead and coat them as well. So, find a spot, lay you down, right there, get you up here. This is my corner chisel. I had, like I said, I had cut the top off and lowered this ring down a little bit because that head was getting kind of turned cockeyed, so I think some of the fibers on the inside were given loose, causing it to go sideways. But the uh, good thing about it is there's so much handle out there, it wasn't really any problem to cut it off just a little bit and make it a little shorter. Can't work outside today, so I thought I would go ahead and treat these handles and be letting them, um, letting that stuff dry and soak in there um, while it was raining. I'll tell you what, this is a homemade chisel right here, but it is one of my all-time favorites. I love using this thing. I guess it's the way that the handle feels or something. This is made out of a piece of dogwood. I'll tell you what, it's just, it's just a pleasure to beat the end of this thing with a wooden mallet and work with it. This is a made by Husk Barna right here. This is a great, great camp axe. Better get that out on the end just a little bit right there. It had been a while since I had done some of these, so I thought better go ahead and get those coated up while it's raining since I can't do anything else.
back down. We'll do the ads. This is another tool that I like using. I know it looks like really rough work, um, but it's not bad because honestly, I just peck away at it. Um, it is time consuming because that's, you know, primarily what I'm doing is just pecking away on it, right? But uh, it's a lot of fun to see the outcome of using a tool like this on the wood. Uh, it's just, I don't know, to me, the effect that you get, it's unmatched. And then we got one last tool, which is the slick. I'll probably be using this quite a bit here in the next little while. If you've been seeing a lot of rain where you live, leave me a comment let me know if it appears to be a little bit more than normal. We have certainly been getting our share of rain, that is for sure. I guess I'll go ahead and do that ring too. Maybe it won't look so rusty. These things take a lot of abuse. But I'll tell you what, they are heavy duty, built well, and I mean they do wear out. Nothing is forever, right? They do wear out and you have to repair them, fix them, replace things. But I'll tell you what, it's a lot of fun using these kind of tools. Well friends, that takes care of this little project right here. I'm getting the tongue and the linseed oil on these tools. They really needed that as much as I used them. Uh, I'm going to let them dry and let that continue to soak in the rest of the day while it's a little bit rainy outside. And tonight, because I've got to get started tomorrow on that timber frame workshop. Anyway, um, I've still got two good old dirty rags left and one no good old no good dirty rag anyway dirty rag right um, but yeah so if you like this kind of stuff um, click up here in the top right hand corner of where I made the handle for this ads that I use quite a bit friends thanks for stopping by we certainly do appreciate it we look forward to seeing you back up here at the cabin again next time